to What We Watch After Dark. My name's Nathan, and today we are going to be going over the movie Victor Frankenstein. It, star, it stars James McAvoy as Victor, Daniel Radcliffe as Eeyore, the director is Paul McGinney, and the writers are Max Landish and Mary Shelley. I guess they've given credit to the actual book because they took stuff from it. But um, those are all the players. It's really a great movie. Let's go ahead and start by uh, showing you the trailer. And when we get back, I'll let you know what I think. So, roll on! Igor, you and I should be at the very heart of a scientific enterprise that will change the world. We shall create a life out of death. It's alive. Do you realize how significant this is? Oh, I have an inkling. I'm Detective Inspector Turpin. I'm here to investigate missing body parts. I'm not sure what you mean, sir. Are you not afraid to challenge the natural order, Mr. Frankenstein? No. And it's Frankenstein. <laughs> we shall create a man after our own image. Questions? Um, well, you're welcome. I think it is time. We met our monster. Is he alive? Yes, well, that's rather obvious. You have a chance to be part of something. Oh, what? Being electrocuted? Chased by monsters. And hunted by the police. Well, if you're going to concentrate on the dark side... Be careful, Mr. Frankenstein. You toy with wrathful forces. I cannot argue with that. Welcome back! Man, this is a good movie. That was a great trailer. I strongly suggest to watch this movie. I'm giving it an 8.5. Um, let's go over some of the interesting facts first, and then we'll go into my thought. It's the classic Frankenstein story, but told from Eeyore's perspective. Funny thing, though, in the actual novel, there is no Eeyore. So, the baby and vats, well, that speech came about the first test tube baby, uh, Lewis Brown, Lois Brown, which occurred in 1978. So, he, Victor Frankenstein, in this case, was above his time, but his eyes still had a little crazy in him. They decide to give the creature a flat head. Uh, it's in it's a reference to Boris Karloff's famous portrayal. Or the monster, actually, is what I meant to say. Uh, Charlie Dance, who played Frankenstein in this movie, and that's his fa uh, Victor's father. And, uh, he also played the master vampire and Dracula Untold. Uh, we also know him from Game of Thrones. He is the Lannister. Uh, there was one guy, Spencer Wilde, who played two different parts. He played the strong man and the monster. All right. So that's a lot of what the five interesting facts we're going to give you. Now... From here, I got to say, I thought a lot of it was well thought out from, from Eeyore's point of view. You know, exactly like even looking at the medical conditions he 
that obviously Victor saw and knew how to fix. Uh, there is one gross part about the hump, but I'll let you see it. It's not that bad. It is, but anyway. Um, but James McAvoy and Daniel Radcliffe just kill it. And I really like Daniel Radcliffe because instead of being this, yes, 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 he starts to question. It shows a development of character from where he was to where he be, he ended. I mean, that arch alone is what this movie is about. But, you know, because Frankenstein goes on and that's when the movie part, I guess, happens or whatever. But it was a great movie. Great actors. Very fun, fast, in the sense of I didn't feel like it was taking forever. I was always enjoying it. Well, I think that's going to do it for me, kids. I want you to know that I love you. Every single one of you. And if you could like and subscribe, or just subscribe, it would really help me out. Even if you don't, I love you anyway. And stop the war.